Caribou are valued by northerners as a very important part of their culture and a part of the land. We know from traditional knowledge that barren ground caribou populations have gone through big changes over time. For the last 50 years, the Department of Environment and Natural Resources has been tracking those changes, together with our co-management partners. Knowing how caribou are doing today helps us manage the herds for tomorrow. The calving ground photographic survey is one of two main methods used to count migratory caribou in North America. In the Northwest Territories, it's the method we use for Bathurst and Blue Nose East caribou. It's also used to count herds further east in Nunavut. We do this survey on the calving grounds in early June. Each herd has its own separate area where female caribou return year after year to give birth. The first step in the survey is to do a series of flights along predetermined grid lines covering a very large area. This is called the reconnaissance survey. One cow, heart antler. Okay. Yeah. You see her, uh, Melissa? Yeah. Okay. The reconnaissance survey helps us determine where there are larger and smaller numbers of caribou and where to find the caribou giving birth that year. We use the locations of the caribou from satellite callers to plan the survey area. Where there are many callers, we know we will find many caribou. The survey planes fly over areas far past the last caribou to make sure we don't miss any. With this information, we divide the survey area into blocks of high, medium, and low caribou numbers. Areas with the high numbers of caribou are surveyed with a photo plane which takes a series of continuous high-resolution photographs across strips of land called transects. Back on the ground, we use the photos to count the exact number of caribou in each transect to come up with a very accurate number. Areas with lower numbers of caribou are also surveyed from the air, but with people doing the counting. To make sure we get the most accurate count, Two observers are used on each side of the plane instead of one. Each observer counts caribou in a specific transect. This is done through markers on the struts of the plane wings, which limits the field of view of each observer to a strip of land 400 meters wide. A person on each side of the plane writes down what the observers see in this strip. One, two, cow. And I, I see one calf with them. Yep. We do not try to count every single caribou in the herd. The landscape is simply too large. But the numbers we get from the strips give us a very good estimate. We cover a lot of ground and apply those estimates across the survey area to fill in the gaps. This is a method used to count wildlife populations all over the world. However, this estimate only gets us the female half of the equation. That's because most male caribou are not on the calving grounds when we do the count in June. To figure out how many males, our bulls, are in the herd, we do a second survey in October during the breeding season. At this time of year, bulls and cows are mixed together on their breeding grounds. We count the numbers of each to figure out how many females there are for every male caribou. From there, we can calculate the number of bulls and add it to the number of cows to give us a population estimate for the entire herd. We use this survey to calculate population estimates for our barren ground caribou herds every few years. But it is not the only way we can tell how caribou are doing. On the ground observations by hunters provide good information about caribou health and local abundance. During the survey, we also take notes about any other animals we see, including predators. We record weather and snow cover, information that can be used later to fine-tune the survey results. Once complete, 
we present the results to our co-management partners and traditional and local knowledge holders. The results are then shared with the public and used in discussions about how to manage the herds. Let's work together so our children and grandchildren can continue to enjoy caribou roaming on a healthy land. For more on how we count caribou, including a video on our other main survey method, the post-calving photographic survey, visit our website, enr.gov.nt.ca.